It's a beautiful sunset behind me, isn't it? We are at Gulf Shores in Alabama, enjoying some family time and some time away this week. One of the things I do like about Ezekiel is that Ezekiel is a good Presbyterian. Here's chapter 36, verse 25. I will sprinkle clean water on you, and you will be clean. See that sprinkle, clean water? He must be a Presbyterian. Actually, before we talk about verse 25, let me back up to verse 23. The nations will know that I am the Lord. Remember, that's that verse that winds its way through the book of Ezekiel. That's the theme that holds Ezekiel together. The nations will know that I am the Lord. But then he says in verse 25, I will also sprinkle clean water on you, and you will be clean. I will cleanse you from all your impurities and all your idols, and I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit within you. In the Old Testament before the time of Jesus, one of the rituals that the priests would go through would be to sprinkle the people with, with water. That was a symbol that their sins would be washed away. It didn't really wash the sins away, it was just a picture, a symbol of what God was doing. God was washing away the sin and the sprinkling of the clean water was a picture of that. We read in the New Testament, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. When we sin, we don't need to go through a ritual of sprinkling clean water on us. We need to confess our sin and ask for forgiveness and know that he does forgive us. And then look at verse 28. You will be my people and I will be your God. Remember, that's the scarlet thread of redemption that works its way through all of the Bible that we've talked about before. And here it is in Ezekiel as well. So it turns out that Ezekiel is not so bad after all, is it? Let me step aside and let you enjoy the sunset for just a minute. The heavens declare the glory of God, and we are enjoying it here in this place tonight. I hope you sense God's presence wherever you are. Good night and God bless. We, our, our condo is on a spit of land. On one side of our condo we have the ocean, but this is the lagoon side, and it's very pretty in its own right. That's not our condo. We're staying in a cottage. Beautiful sunset.